टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू साइड सिलेक्शन ऑफ हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट और समटाइम्स इट इज कोल्ड एज द फैक्टर्स टू बी कंसिडर्ड फॉर द साइड सिलेक्शन ऑफ हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट एंड हियर यू कैन सी द इमेजेस ऑफ द हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट सो वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट availability of water main fuel of this plant that means hydro power plant is water so such plant should be located near to river canal etc where sufficient water is available all the time so that is the main point to be considered for the site selection of hydro power plant the maximum and minimum quantity of water available throughout the year are also considered because of based on that you can decide the power plant capacity next point availability of water head here you can see in the figure in order to generate power it is necessary that a large quantity of water at sufficient head should be available so here you can see large quantity of water at sufficient height should be available because water head that is directly related to the cost of generation of electric power if effective head is increase water storage has to be reduced as well as capital cost of the plant is reduced so in short we can say if available water head is increase then automatically your capital cost of the plant is reduced next water storage capacity since there is a wide variation in rainfall during the year therefore it is necessary to store the water for continuous generation of power so storage of water in a suitable reservoir or dam has to be placed by a careful geological study of the area so you can understand to store more water you have to see the geological study of the area in short dam should be located across the river to get continuous water supply throughout the year especially in a dry season next type of land the land to be selected for the site should be rocky to withstand the stresses transmitted from the dam structure so here you can see this is the dam structure having huge weight and so that the stress is developed and that will be exerted on this rocky material of the land of hydro power plant so the land should be enough to withstand the stresses transmitted from the dam as well as the thrust of the water when the reservoir is full so if the reservoir is full then the thrust that is exerted on this dam and that will be once again transferred to the land so that thrust also should be sustained by the land next cost of land hydroelectric power plant needs huge space so it should be kept in mind that land cost must be cheap and so then obviously you can understand the overall cost of the plant is reduced next transportation facilities good transportation facilities must be available to any hydro power plant so that necessary equipment should be reached easily during the construction next distance from the load center power plant should be set up near the load center this will reduce the cost of maintenance of the transmission line so this is the transmission line and if the load center is near to the power house then definitely you can understand you can reduce the cost of the transmission line so here it is written if it is located away from the load center more transmission line is required to supply the power to avoid the line loss an economical power supply distance of such plant should need more attention next environment effect hydro project submerge large area 
and many villages nearby water reservoir so the environmental effect should also be considered if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video